Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Kiku Karaoke Cards and Otherwise. I am here with some Theory 11 decks that I've gotten recently. Uh, three that I intended to get. One that I got as a mystery deck from one of my card places. And uh, so I thought I'd go over them. Um, I guess a couple of them, you, these two, as far as I know, you can't get directly through Theory 11. Uh, this is the Tavern on the Green uh, Ivory Edition. Um, this one you can get directly from, I believe Tavern on the Green has their own website. And so that's where you can pick these up from. Very, very nice. Theory 11's always really good with their tuck boxes. Always really nice embossing and foiling all that stuff. Just really pretty. And these ones are designed by Kev Kevin Cantrell. Um, I guess in general, this is because it's a second edition, I believe, of the deck. Because there is a regular version of Tavern on the Green that I don't have. But and I have already broken into these decks, so there's the the green. Nice inner foiling there. Try not to bend the tuck case from opening it. Um, there we got the cards here. Nice back design. With the gold and the white. And then there's our jokers. Identical Jokers? Looks like it. Yeah. And look at that ace. Very nice. And the nice little embellished pips. Some classy looking court cards. Looks like all of the really a nice little shine on the pips there. The courts are different between the suits. I know some of them aren't. We'll get to that later. Yeah. So yeah, I wasn't able to get the original Tavern on the Green, but I think this one's still pretty nice. And as always with Theory 11 decks, they're, they always have a really good feel to them. And there's the two ad cards. All right, so that is Tavern on the Green Ivory Edition, which I believe just came out. And, jeez, there we go. Ah, jeez. Lost my dexterity. There we go. All right. So then this one actually just came in. This is from the Fox Bar and Cocktail Club. Uh, just a nice tuck case there. Always looking for decks that are more animal themed. There we go. All right. So, and we'll open these guys up. There's the located at 2905B Gallatin Pike East, Nashville, Tennessee, USA. And there's a nice inner, inner flap there. Nothing too crazy for the back design. Just a nice little, nice little design there. And we got color swapped jokers. I like the ace. And I like the uh, the bubbliness of the font with the pips there. 
And so this one does have repeating quartz. So nothing too exciting there. I guess the color is slightly different. Yeah, there's the... Oh well. But kind of like the designs. Kind of whimsical. Just a... So definitely... Oh, there's a... How to make a 19th century Manhattan. There we go. And if I'm ever in Tennessee. All right. So that's the, uh, the Fox Bar and Cocktail Club. I guess the back almost kind of gives it a... I don't know, in my head, like a jazz vibe. Definitely something of a, like, more like an upper class. Uh, music club-esque thing. All right, now to two more. We've got, um, so we got the Dark Knight Trilogy and Spider-Man. Um, we'll go with this one. We'll start with this one first. So we got the... As always, you know, tuck boxes, always on point. Theory 11, DC Comics. Ba -ba -ba. Sometimes I find it a shame that particular details of the tuck box are covered by the by the uh, seal but then you also don't want to get rid of the seal so why so seal yes uh, 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 I make just myself laugh sometimes all right so there we got the back design some Batman. I'm not a huge Batman fan, but you know, it's all right. It's cool. Nice angular designs to the pips with a little outlining there. Characters that I don't remember because it's been, I mean, that's Catwoman and Batman. Otherwise, characters I don't quite remember because it's been a very long time since I've seen the Dark Knight trilogy. And I really only saw, I think, I saw them maybe once or twice. Bane. Some of them are recognizable. Commissioner Gordon? <laughs> I think. Uh. Ah, ba -ba. And each of the aces is one of his vehicles from the movies. And then we got the the uh, ad cards there. There we go. All right. Yeah. So that's the Dark Knight trilogy deck. There we go. And then Spider-Man. This one, I had gotten mainly on recommendation. I find that, like, the back design is a kind of a theme swapped. Very similar to the Theory 11 Avengers deck. Just the same kind of layout. But with a nice Spider-Man color scheme. These really do not show up well on camera. Oh well. Look at that. Just a nice crisp inner tuck design. Boop, boop, 
There's the ad card for Theory 11. Wanting pictures of Spider-Man, I think. I don't know. Hm. I enjoy that. That's a that's a pretty great ace. Ace of spades. I remember that meme. AKA that meme is still around as of this video at least. Spider Man and Iron Man. You kind of can't make out the design of the webbing as much on the red cards, at least on camera, eh, even in person, really. But it's a lot more, obviously, a lot more clear on the darker pips. Some happy Aunt May. Yeah, so the Spider-Man decks deck is pretty good. I find, yeah, the the face card, the pips and courts and everything for Theory 11 decks, decks are usually pretty simple. Nothing too crazy or complicated. Um, there's the back design. There we go. Um... But definitely, the tuck boxes are the star of the show, typically. And that's just kind of a quick overview of some of the Theory 11 decks I recently picked up. And I'm sure this was a fount of endless entertainment for the seconds that anyone has paid attention to it. I hope you all have yourselves a great day, great evening, good whatever. And I you will hope that you will like, comment, and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye.